hello everybody welcome to the next cell tutorial today i'm going to show how to take backup and restore the backup in jitlab let me see how to do this first i'm going to take the backup for jitlab application i'm going to take entire jitlab application backup now run the below command to take the backup this is the syntax to create backup for jitlab it will take entire jitlab backup press enter to continue now now the backup is started it will take little bit time until you have to wait now the backup is taken successfully this is the full backup has been taken for jitlab you want to skip the particular application while taking backup means you can skip by using below command here execute the same command and additionally add one option skip is equal to which are the application if you want to skip you should enter that application i'm going to skip db and uh, uploads after enter the command this two application of jitlab will be skipped while taking backup if you need means you can go for this options now the backup is taken successfully the backup application this backup for jitlab is stored in default path of jitlab that is var opt jitlab backups press enter now list this directory here the backup will be created this is the timestamp for this backup this application is created on this date it will be stored as tar file this is the method to take the backup for jitlab now next step i am going to restore the backup application before that i am going to sign in into jitlab here login with your jitlab username and password enter the password in my group i have four users like uh, deepak saran swarna and wasim now i am going to remove deepak from this group it will be removed click okay now the deepak user is removed again log out this application jitlab now go to that location now i am going to restore the backup for before restoring backup you should stop the following service type jitlab ctl stop unicorn you should stop the unicorn service and also stop the side kick press enter after stop this two service one second check the status of jitlab press enter here the two service is down now next i am going to restore the backup jitlab rec jitlab colon backup colon restore and type backup and enter the timestamp after I enter the file name timestamp now press enter now the restore process is started it will take little bit time until you have to wait now click yes
again type yes press continue now the restore process is successfully done next step I am going to start the GitLab service type GitLab CTL start press enter here the see the unicorn and the sidekick service is started after started the service now I am going to check the GitLab service for that you should type GitLab iPhone right GitLab colon check sunny ties is equal to true after enter this command press enter now it's going to check the GitLab st status now the checking process is started it will take little bit time until we have to wait now the checking process is completed now the restoration process is completely done if you have doubt whether your uh, data is restored or not means log in the GitLab under the password now go to the group yes, here see the debug user I have removed before after taking the backup again I restored the backup again this user will be added in this group now, this is the method to take backup and restore the backup from the GitLab thank you for watching